Now I've had a few of you asking me in the comments to check this brand out. So this is one of two models they make. This is the least expensive one at $500. They do offer a plus version for about 250 bucks more. I'll have both links in the description if you wanna check them out. Now to kick this review off, I headed down to Southern Utah where I have a bunch of family who are pretty much scooter pros. In the last three months, they put over 500 miles on each of their scooters. Now that's like driving from Vegas to Twin Falls, Idaho. So let's see what they had to say, starting with their top scooter pro, Mr. Jack Bearden. Well, I think that the range is one of the biggest flaws of it. What's the range of this one? This one's 10. It was nice, it was smooth, except the acceleration, I'd push it and it would not really pick up. And then I'd push it again, and it would pick up. There's a little bit of a delay in the throttle. Yeah, I like the brake lever, it feels nice. And I like the bell too. I just think that the handlebars are a little thin. I like to be able to put my hand around it. It's nice to be nice and firm, but. So they have little dainty handlebars? Yeah, tiny. <laughs> you like a manly handlebar? Yes. Okay. Hi, YouTube. I just. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good things I noticed, um, it's really smooth. So it's a really smooth ride. I like the grips, so they're kind of like a silicone grip maybe. It seemed to have really good acceleration when I was going straight and downhill. The brakes work well, <laughs> almost too well. Get used to them, they're a little touchy. It could handle little hills, but one time we got on a probably like a half a mile stretch of uphill and I almost completely lost power. So I had to get off my scooter and push it up. It's cute, it's black with blue <laughs> handles. I really liked it. It had a lot of power, it was solid, and I personally like disc brakes and air tires so it had two things i really liked about it i like how the handlebars felt really solid like i've ridden some where they're jiggly these ones felt really solid i've had other scooters that i feel like get up and go faster but i don't necessarily think that's a great quality it has a ton of speed when you need it i've been riding other scooters for a while and uh it had a, a nice smooth ride like the tires were a little softer and it had a nice smooth ride now i am a man of <laughs> substantial girth, if you will. So I weigh about 250 pounds. You scanning, <laughs> you checking out my girth? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta check it out if you're gonna mention it, man. <laughs> so I weigh about 250 pounds and I think the weight limit on it is about 220. 220, yeah. And you know, it seemed to hold me just fine, but when I was going up even sort of a even remote incline, um, it, I had to end up sort of kickstarting myself with my foot and to keep it going. So that okay. was really the only thing that I... So pay attention to the weight limit with uh, this one, huh? That's right. <laughs> That's right. Or, or just don't be girthful. Yeah. <laughs> girthful. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I'll say is very smooth. I've ridden on several others. They're nice, but this one was very smooth. The battery died. I had a nice walk back up the hill. You don't want to know that. <laughs> but if you want all honesty, that's what happened. Now, the common theme that you've just heard is how smooth the ride is. I will also add to that, this is the second smoothest scooter I've ever ridden. I'm also a big fan of the frame. In fact, the stem is the thickest of any scooter I've ridden and made from aviation aluminum alloy. Now, that not only provides extra strength, but also makes it lightweight. This only weighs 27 pounds, which is a good and bad thing. It's nice because it makes it easy to carry when you wanna take it into the office or on a road trip, but what I'm finding as I ride more and more of these is the heavier they are, the more stable they feel. If it's too light, they seem to bounce and vibrate more. I just reviewed the Segway Max, which is 42 pounds, 15 pounds above the levee. Now that was incredibly smooth, the smoothest ride I've had so far. Now both brands have pneumatic tires and no shocks, so there is something to say about weight. It does make the ride a little smoother. Now some of my family did complain about the loss of power or dead battery while going up hills, but that wasn't the case. What we found later was the scooter was overheating. So we love the levee, don't we, Jill? We do, it's a good little scooter as long as you're not wanting to go uphill for a long period of time. <laughs> <laughs> if you do, it overheats and shuts down on you for probably at least a half an hour. Now, full disclosure, I like to test gear above what it's rated for. So the first day I was in town, my girthful brother-in-law, who weighs 250 pounds, 20 pounds over the weight limit, took it for a spin, which it did not like. 
Even with a full battery, it shut down after 10 minutes in 75 degree weather. Ever since then, it's been behaving a little odd and overheats even when others who are under the limit ride up small hills. So most likely we may have caused some damage or the scooter just sucks or we just got a bad apple. To find out, I hopped on their website and clicked on reviews, which were surprisingly good. I scrolled through to see if anyone else had the same problem and couldn't find one. So yeah, I'm thinking that we probably damaged it. You'll definitely need to stay within the weight limit of this and not let anybody ride it who is girthful. Now my brother-in-law has the ES4. That's the one he's had for the past three months that he put 500 miles on it. Uh, it has a weight limit of 10 pounds less than the levy and he's never had an overheating problem with it now granted it is 300 more than the levy some scooters you can kind of press that boundary a little and others you cannot now before it started to fell i was able to film a hill test okay that's a 10.7 so that is 0.7 above the highest rating for the scooter it's five to ten percent that's a 9.8 uh 10.3 8.8. I grabbed my nephew and sister to help me out to give you an idea of how it handles with different weights. Now I'm the heaviest at 180 pounds. I did maintain seven miles per hour going up the hill, so it does slow down quite a bit even when working well. I then borrowed my nephew and sister for a speed test. On flat terrain, weight doesn't really seem to make that big of a difference. I was pretty much neck and neck with my nephew and sister. There are three speeds with levy, with the fastest speed topping out at about 17 to 18 miles per hour for me. They also have regenerative braking with the tail light lighting up and flashing. The standing room wasn't as spacious as I like with only six inches wide and 18 long. It just felt small. I did like how you can take out the battery, which takes three hours to recharge, and would suggest buying another one if you plan on taking long trips, as the range is only 10 miles, which does go pretty fast. And last but not least, it has an IP54 waterproof rating. Overall, I wasn't the biggest fan of the Levy. This is a $500 scooter. For that price, I would expect a longer range and more power and it just didn't have it. I mean, if the substantial girthy man was 50 or 60 pounds heavier, then I get it. You know, it, it would struggle a little bit, but 20 pounds, I'm thinking that's close enough that it should have done okay, but that just wasn't the case. But to end on a positive note, this is the second smoothest scooter I've ever ridden and the second most stable as well. The brakes on this are fantastic, probably the best out of any scooter that I've ridden. It doesn't feel cheap. I felt confident going over bumps and rough spots in the road. And like my sister, I am a fan of the look. Now guys, if you do wanna pick this up, I've got the link in the description. I've also partnered with a company called Lustry who has created a free tool that compares other brands. So if you want more info before you buy, you should definitely check it out. If you also want their recommendations or product analysis, right where you shop like on Amazon or Google, install their extension. The link is in the description. So thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe and enjoy your day.